Jackie Smiley with Smiley Birth Services here for a pregnancy update. I am eight weeks pregnant now, which feels like a bit of a milestone. Um, I'll give you a bump update. It's crazy. Baby number four is popping out so much sooner. Um, I feel like I need to wear maternity clothes because I, I'm like really annoyed by anything touching my belly. <laughs> Um, which some of those maturity pants come all the way up and that seems, seems okay. But just like my regular pants digging into my tummy is like oh, super annoying. So, um, I'm really grateful. Some friends have given me some hand-me-down maternity clothes and I've been wearing them already. And it's, it's just crazy to me. I'm only eight weeks. Baby's about the size of, um, a raspberry they say so that's pretty tiny um, but my girls have been enjoying um, each week seeing online like what the baby might look like and how big it is and that kind of thing so that's been really fun um, I had my first midwife appointment today and that was fun to get reacquainted with my midwife um, using the same lady that I used for Eden's home birth She's super sweet. I, I just adore her. So um, that was nice. And she's actually due with her baby in a couple weeks. So the next time I see her, she will have a baby. Um, so yeah, the appointment went well. Everything looked good. Um, and we got my progesterone lab back from last week. I went on Friday. And I'm actually in zone three. So I don't know if you know anything about this whole progesterone therapy, but, um, sorry, that's my dog eating. <laughs> Can you hear him? Um, so ideally, the higher your progesterone level is, the more likely you are to carry to term. Um, just because you have a lower number doesn't mean that you'll go early. Just because you have a high number doesn't mean you won't go early, but it, the higher you are, the more likely you are to not go into premature labor. And so that's the main reason why I'm doing it. Um, so my level was higher than it was when I was at this stage of pregnancy with Eden, which just makes my heart happy because Eden's the only baby I've had who actually made it full term. Um, so it just gives me peace that this pregnancy is starting out really well and I have really good numbers. Um, I don't think I ever made it to zone three with her. Zone four is as high as it gets, I think. Maybe there's zone five, I don't know. I think it's just zone four. Um, but I was consistently in zone two the whole pregnancy, which is not bad, but um, just to be higher than that just felt really good. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I have had a lot of morning sickness um, not throwing up, thankfully, but just feel ick a lot. I, and it does seem to be mornings are the worst. Um, I lay around a lot. <laughs> I nap. Um, very tired. I've had some insomnia, so I'll wake up. Dog is really eating. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and can't get back to sleep. So... That's really fun. Um, yeah, what else? I'm hungry. So my hunger kicked in this week. Um, I ate a really decent dinner last night and then I went to church and came home right around bedtime. The kids bedtime, 8.30. Um, and I was starving. Like I downed a whole bunch of beef jerky and Layla had just made muffins, so I might have eaten a muffin too. Um, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Um, so I'm trying to make healthy choices and not just eat whatever, you know, chips or cookies or I don't, we don't even have cookies, but um, this afternoon we had lunch early and um, came home and I was really hungry again so I made a salad um, so that's good I don't seem to have a lot of food aversions um, I really did with all my other pregnancies so I'm kind of waiting that might kick in here I don't know but um, 
but I seem to seem to be doing okay with that. Um, I also did the sneak peek test this week, which that is um, to find out the gender of the baby. You can find it out at eight weeks. Um, so I did that yesterday and <laughs> it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I, I used to be phobic of needles, like absolutely terrified of needles. And if I had to get my blood drawn, it was the end of the world and I, would either come really close to passing out um, or possibly like feel like I'm gonna throw up. I never actually did throw up, but um, it was just not, not a pleasant experience. But having had three natural births now and plenty of labs and um, Gucci, chill out. Um, hormone shots all the time and all that stuff, it, I've gotten used to needles and I'm not terrified of them anymore, which is amazing. But this was different because you don't want it to be contaminated um, by male DNA. Um, so it was so different because, yeah, you don't want, um, like what the test is looking for is the Y chromosome. So if they look at your blood and all they see are X chromosomes, then they know that you are having a girl. But if they find that Y, then that means you're having a boy. But if I go scratch my husband, I don't know, touch my husband, and then prick my finger and have his DNA on my finger, then that could skew the results. Um, so you're supposed to like sanitize the surface, wash your hands for like a bajillion hours, um, and then prick your finger. And it comes with this, it's called a lancet. So you put it on there and it's like spring loaded. So as soon as you like apply pressure, it injects the needle. Um, and then I had such a hard time. I was like, oh, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And Layla was upstairs with me and like, are you okay, mom? Like, it's gonna be okay. Just take a deep breath and think about clouds and rainbows and she's so sweet. Um, but it was, it was so hard for me to prick my own finger. Like I really struggled with that. It did not hurt. It just was this mindset of, am I really going to cut myself? I don't know. So weird. Um, and then you have to like milk your finger and like drop the drops into this tube. Ugh. It was really gross. I got, I got really like sick to my stomach and felt like I was going to pass out, but I didn't drink a little orange juice. <laughs> felt a little better and we mailed it off. My mom actually mailed it off for me. Um, so I should know in about a week, they'll email me the results, which is perfect um, because we're leaving for Florida a week from tomorrow. Um, so we're hoping to announce um, that we're having a baby and hopefully the gender of the baby from the beach. Um, so we'll definitely be sharing that here too. Um, so I'm, I kind of hope that I get the results like right before we leave and then Justin and I will get to know before anybody else knows for a few days, which would be pretty cool. Um, but I'm really excited to know the gender and um, kind of start picking out names and putting a name with the bump, <laughs> not with the face, but a name with the bump. Um, so yeah, that's eight weeks. I'm tired. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, um, a little bit moody, not terrible, but a little bit, I'll admit it. Um, but just grateful and excited for the future. Thanks for joining me. If you like what you saw today, click subscribe, get the notifications so that you'll see my future videos and I will keep you updated as the pregnancy continues. Have a great day.